today is incredibly special for me. The idea of having a black cat to be my little shadow and friend has been a dream that I've had since childhood. I've been reading all the books and researching all the articles, trying to learn as much as I can about this new adventure. Growing up, my family owned animals from pigeons that we rescued to miniature horses to dogs and chickens, but this will be my first experience owning a kitten. As dear Bilbo Baggins would say, I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. And this adventure comes in the form of a fluffy black fur ball that will be joining us in just a few short hours. Hey babe, are you ready to go? <laughs> Dara, you're gonna have a little... like the nervous stomach that you get before you fly but like you know how you're excited to go on an airplane but like you're nervous I've been waiting I've been counting down the days since we met her and it feels like it's been so long oh my gosh we're here all right let's go <laughs> I'm in love. Are you kidding me? Look at her, she's so sweet. All right, before we continue, I want to take a minute to introduce you to one of my all time favorite sponsors to work with, Book of the Month. You guys know I'm the biggest Book of the Month fangirl, so I'm just so excited to share their spooky October books with you. But first, let me tell you a bit about them. Book of the Month is an extremely popular and fast-growing online book subscription service for truly any kind of reader. Every month, their team vets hundreds of different books to give readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles, which I absolutely love that I can get a book and read it before it's even released anywhere else. You can choose one or even two or three books if you're really into the selection that month and they get delivered straight to your door. I always love their selection of spooky books during October specifically. Especially this year, they have so many thrillers, ghost stories, even spooky romantic comedies. And a big part of their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they'll love. Book of the Month is also risk-free, so you can skip any month at any time and you won't be charged, which is another one of my favorite things. They just make it so easy. It's just everything that I could want in a book subscription service. Truly, I am obsessed, <laughs> so obsessed in fact, that in addition to the books that they gifted me this month, I purchased a third book because there were just so many good choices. First, I chose The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. This is the highly anticipated follow-up to The X Hex, which I actually read last year and thought it was okay, but I heard the sequel is even better. It's a bewitching rom-com that has all of the Halloween Town vibes. And then I was very intrigued by The Family Game by Katherine Stedman because it's about a family and their passion for games, one game in particular that may seem simple but making it out alive will be anything but. Lexi made this comparison on her channel and I absolutely agree that it has the vibes of Ready or Not and Knives Out. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. And then finally, and probably the book I'm most excited about is Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercroft. This is a present day folk retelling of the story of Baba Yaga, full of Russian Jewish folklore about the ancestral hauntings that stalk us and the uncanny power of story. I've heard only amazing things about this one and the cover is so beautiful in my opinion. I also just have to say one of the best things about Book of the Month is their price for these beautiful new hardcover releases. If you're interested in picking up one of their spooky or cozy books this month, you can use the code TREAT to get your first book for only $9.99, which is oh, still it's so, how do they do it? I don't know. 
such a good price. <laughs> I just really can't recommend them enough. I highly suggest checking them out if you're looking for a good new book to cozy up with during spooky season. Now let's continue on to the rest of the video. You look like Toothless. You're so cute. Why are you just chilling with your father? We're just hanging out. You guys just hanging out? I'm hypnotizing her. Oh. Thanks, that's the edge of the bed. I don't want you to fall. Oh my goodness. Mice move out when the Morning, fields Let's go. go. Serpents curl when the sun comes up. <laughs> Songbirds only end up where they're Where are you going? going? Yep. Covered some in dust. Rain, You're covered in dust? On a plane? Some like, no thank you. I go back to my little den between the bookshelves. <gasps> Good girl. Hey, thanks. Dogs lay down in the evening heat. Fish do worse when they leave the sea. Songbirds oh, well done. And this autumn town where the lights can change. Some get mercy, some get blame. Some get lost when they feel the river flowing. It's all holy smoke and flame. He binks is over with Jared. He's trying to. She really likes the toilet. D'Artagnan has been so good. He knows something's going on, but he has a new bone and he's just chilling out here until we invite him over. You're being so patient. What do we have in here? Lay down, Dark. Good boy. Jared's trying to comfort her and D'Artagnan is still very patiently waiting. Good girl, Binks. That's your older brother. He looks really big and scary now, but he's a teddy bear. Are you a teddy bear? She's like, I'm gonna stay right here. Not really. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, she's getting sleepy. I'm so tired. I'm tired, little princess. You officially cannot move for the next hour. <laughs> Honestly, these first few days were pure bliss. I was just in this new kitten haze. There's this feeling when a kitten, if it chooses you for love, for cuddles, it's like the biggest dose of serotonin possible. My heart has all but bursted out of my chest. It's only been a couple days, but I'm absolutely obsessed with her. She follows me around everywhere and we've started to do pretty much everything together. Lots and lots of naps and cuddles. It's still crazy to believe that she's finally here after years of dreaming of her. She's mine and I am now hers and it's just the best feeling. She has gained so much confidence. She's exploring everywhere. She especially loves the bookshelves and she helps me do the dishes every evening. She's the cutest little assistant. 
I no longer eat any meals alone, but I'm not complaining. She makes amazing company. She's just the absolute cutest. Her eyes, she looks like she belongs in a Ghibli film. She started to slowly warm up to D'Artagnan, who so badly wants to be her friend and play with her, but he's being such a good and patient boy. We have this routine down where she runs around the kitchen until her food is ready and then climbs up my leg. She prefers climbing to being picked up and she makes the rules now, so that's what we do. I just want her to feel as safe and happy as possible. I've been giving her a combination of wet and dry food, which she seems to really enjoy eating. She hasn't had any issues with eating. I just love seeing her grow and become more confident day after day. I still just can't believe she's mine. There's just one small thing we're still working on. She bites a lot. Thanks. What are you doing? Girl, she is just like, girl, why? That hurts. There's your toy, okay? But then a lot of the times I'll give her her toy and I'll just like leave my hand right here and she'll choose to come attack my hand again, or my legs, or any skin that's showing at all. She seems so frustrated. Ouch! Oh, I scared you, but that hurt. You were biting my leg. Binks, oh my goodness. Okay, don't let her. Take it away. Oh my gosh. No, you have this instead. You have this toy, okay? What are you doing? You like chilling up there? You like chilling up there? Binks. instead you still choose me over the toy oh my gosh can you see that she's still she's still going for my hand instead binks you have a toy here hmm can you see it that hurts that hurts oh my gosh binks okay binks no oh my gosh can you see this is yeah. that normal that can't be normal binks Look, I have a toy. Here's the toy. But she gets tired of the toy, like. Uh, that's my thumb. That is my binks. Meow, that hurts. Don't bite it anymore. Thank you, give me kisses instead. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, binks. Okay, I won't kiss you anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to love on you. Little vampire. Hmm? Thanks. No, that hurts. Ouch, thanks. Oh my goodness. She's just biting my arm. Ouch, 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 ouch. Binks. Okay, ow, ow. <laughs> That's a bit rough. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to get it in your lap. Oh my goodness. Okay, look, we're gonna enjoy Saturday morning cartoons. You've got your toy. I've got my donuts. 
while this has been rough, I know that it's something we're going to work through together as I learn more about her personality and her needs Hello. and wants. Doesn't change the fact that I'm still absolutely in love with her. Would you make me a call fear too? Don't want to head out half asleep Swallowed a cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out the morning blues on the box all you want. I'll have the pumpkin spice donuts. Thank you very much. Mmm. If you fall on stairs When whistles and the windows All he dares to question me We run on When the past comes back to life Where those cold still Hands were sharp as knives and your burdens. Oh, they clung in the disguise. Gotta turn the page. You're laying on top of it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, it has been a few days because we kind of just wanted to keep the camera off as much as possible to adjust to our new life with Binks. It's been crazy because I've never had a cat before and this is just so new and my instinct has been to treat her the way I treat puppies, but it's so different with kittens and I'm definitely learning that. It has been an adventure. I've learned so many things about her so far. So let me share some facts about my little Binks. She was born August 13th. Sometimes she sleeps with her eyes slightly open and you can see her eyeballs moving when she's dreaming. And at first I was like, is she, is she asleep or is she awake? <laughs> she loves chewing on shoes and pumpkin stems and our hands. Also, she doesn't purr. I don't know if she doesn't know how or if she's just never felt happy, which breaks my heart. I want her to feel happy. Or at least she's never purred in front of us. I've never seen her do biscuits either. Um, so I don't know if that's something she learns from her litter mates or her mom. Another fun fact is that we've discovered she likes anime. She's really intrigued by all of the sounds and the colors, especially like the fight scenes. Jared often cuddles up with her on the couch and they watch anime together and it's adorable. I know some cats like to curl up, but Binks prefers to sleep all spread out, her limbs up like this and she's just all stretched out. And uh, yeah, that's her preferred sleeping position. Her favorite food by far, by far, far is chicken. Preferably the food that has like fresh like rotisserie type chicken pieces in it. She prefers being able to like tear it up herself rather than having it just as like a mush and she will do anything for chicken. Her favorite toy is this leaf wand. It has an acorn and some leaves on it and she goes crazy. She can play with that for 45 minutes. She does not get tired of it. And as a black cat during autumn, I mean, I feel like she's just in tune with the vibes and the aesthetic of the season. We've noticed that she gets the zoomies every night around like 11 p.m. And we know that after she finishes her round of zoomies, we bring her into her room to get ready for bed. And by get ready, I mean do some like less crazy playing and then I'll watch her groom herself, tell her that she's such a good girl. And then she'll probably go to the bathroom and then she eventually like will put her to sleep. <laughs> I feel like I have a new baby. Like she's she's actually like my child. And lastly, her and D'Artagnan, they are coexisting successfully. They can walk around each other in the same room. But if D'Artagnan 
is moving too quickly, she will get scared and back off, you know, and have her hair kind of stand up. But they live in the same room, still doesn't really like him. And I feel like she's the new alpha because D'Artagnan is scared of her too. But if they both get tired enough and one of us is on the sofa, Binks will kind of paw her way over to get to either me or Jared. And if D'Artagnan is on the couch too, she will sometimes lay on top of him or next to him, which is the most progress we've made. So hopefully they will become friends. The cute thing is if we both go into a room, we'll open the door after we come back out and they're both just sitting there waiting for us. So <laughs> they have that in common. They don't like being alone. So they'll both come and wait by the door, which is really cute. Hi Binks. Welcome to Binx's bedroom. This is her room that she hangs out in. She's smelling her rug right now. I actually think she might have got a tiny bit of her poo on it earlier after she got out of the litter box. So I will need to put that in the wash for sure. So over to the left, she has her little cat tower. She loves to scratch on it and to play with these balls right here. They have like beads in them. And then she has her blanket. This is the one that we have been cuddling her with like every night since we got her out on the sofa in our bed. It smells like us and I actually slept with it for a week before we got her, so it smells like me. And then she has her cat bed, which she loves to sleep on top of, not so much inside, but there's this really nice, what's this, like Sherpa blanket that she actually really likes. She likes to lay out here on it. And then her favorite sleeping spot is right here on top of the bathtub. And in the bathtub, this is where she likes to play with her balls. She has her spider. She also loves to play with those spiders. And what are these called? This little scratching cardboard thing. She loves to perch on top of it as she chases for her balls. And she loves playing with them in here because out there, she always makes them go under the refrigerator or under a table and here they can just bounce off the wall. And then backing up, we have this toy, which she also loves. She plays with this all the time. And there's a bell right there. And we have the blanket on the bathtub because originally she couldn't get back and forth. And we were worried that maybe she would go on here jump into the tub and get stuck. So we put a blanket on it so that she could climb in and out and now she loves to sleep on top of it. And then over here, we have a plant that she loves to climb on, but it's not real. And then here is her litter setup. So we have her litter box, which is open because the breeder that we got her from had her using an open litter box, which I actually need to clean. It's getting a bit dusty. And then next to it, I have the scoop, which is in a little holder right here. And then we have this trash can. I clean out the litter box multiple times a day and I'll put it in there. And then at the end of the day, in the evening, I will take out the trash from the trash can. And then right outside the litter box, we have this litter mat that catches the litter pretty well. You can see there's some in there right now. And then we have a little candy corn toy that she likes. She loves this like crunching sound. And then right over here, far away from her litter box, we just have a water bowl, which she hardly ever drinks out of, but we have it there all the time, just in case. And yeah, that's her little bedroom. Up here, I just keep the trash bags that I use for her trash can down there. And then I also have this light. We used to put it on and kind of have it as like a nightlight at night, but she doesn't and she doesn't really meow or get scared at night anymore. We do still keep her in here because we let her sleep in my room once, but she had an accident on my bed the next day. So until she gets a little bit older, she does sleep in here at night. And yeah, she used to like that as a little nightlight. Okay, I have brought in her basket of all of her toys and treats and a bunch of the things that I've purchased since becoming a new cat mom. And I thought we could do just a little haul so I can show you everything. I researched so much, but I still feel like I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's get started with the toys because there are so many. She loves this toy. She can lay down and she'll lazily just hit these and stare at them for like 20 minutes. She loves it. This one I would say is her favorite. It is this wand toy that has these fall leaves on it with a little acorn at the bottom. And I think she likes that she can grab the acorn, but then these will also be moving on top so she can like grab these afterwards. It's just so fun and it's stretchy. Another one that she really, really likes is this simple wand toy. 
that has a pumpkin on the bottom. I got this one on Etsy because I just thought it was so cute for fall and she's a black cat. She loves this one, but sometimes she really does love playing with the twine more than she actually likes the pumpkin on the bottom. And then on Etsy, I also got, I'm missing one of them. There's a gray one, but they are these spiders and they're felt and then they have these twine legs they are so cute all of their legs are constantly like moving when they're on the ground being pushed around she loves those and along from that same etsy seller i got these felt balls these are her favorite balls to play with of course i had to get autumnal colors she loves these and they're really simple they don't make noise sometimes i've found if something makes noise uh, she's a little skittish so sometimes she doesn't like the noise and then i think i got these, I can't remember if I got these at PetSmart or on Amazon, but they are these felt mice. She loves these as well, and they're so cute. I love how simple they look. She loves to attack these and like kick them and bite on them. And then I thought these were so cute. I think I got these on Amazon. It's the set of baker's goods, and she loves these. These are also great too, especially the croissant. It's kind of like a mini kicker. So when she lays on her back, she loves to claw at this one and bite it. Okay, and then moving on to another one of her favorites. It's just this little guy and he's got a really fluffy feather tail and then you can like put your finger in this ring at the top and just play with it like this and it's stretchy. So this is great when she's on my lap and wanting to play because I can just go like this with my hand and it's far enough away from my hand for her to not bite it <laughs> or think that my hand is the goal. And then this is the kicker that we use whenever she's in a really feisty mood it's this like meerkat looking guy. He's really long. He's got these kind of stretchy arms and she loves to play with this on his back. Um, and then she loves this one. It makes a sound, it's a little bird. She, like I said, she doesn't really love the ones that make sounds, but she's gotten used to this one. And now sometimes I'll hear her playing with it at night in the bathroom, I'll hear this going off because she just loves to pounce on it. And then I don't know where all the other ones have gone to because I got such a huge pack of these, but they're just these little spring toys and it has this coating on the outside so that she doesn't hurt herself with the like sharp spring on the inside. And then I just attached some twine to this one so that I could kind of just use it as kind of like a wand toy. So when we're sitting on the couch, I can just go like this and she loves to grab it and she likes it, it's stretchy. I think that's it for the toys. So I'll show you the treats that I've got for her. These ones, she is obsessed with these. She will die for these. Every time she goes to the bathroom, I give these to her because these are the only ones that she goes crazy over. These are freeze dried cat treats. They are made with free run poultry and wild caught flounder. And then I got these vital cat. These are minnows. So they're just like dried <laughs> little minnows. If you can see if I go like this. Oh, she likes these if I soak them in a tiny bit of water first and then give them to her. And then I got these blue wilderness cat cat treats. They're soft. They are a chicken and salmon recipe. And so far she has not taken to these at all. She smells them and then she just walks away. So these are not really her vibe. Maybe she'll grow into liking them. I just got so many because when I was shopping for her, I just wanted to buy her everything because <laughs> I didn't know what she would like. Then I got these ahi tuna freeze dried cat treats from Nacho and she likes these. She's had these a few times. They are crunchy, which she's not a huge fan of. And then these are probably her favorite treat besides the first freeze dried ones and they are the applause, what are they called, puree. They come in these little sachets and they have different flavors. Here we have chicken in broth, tuna in broth, and salmon in broth. And she prefers the chicken the most. She's a chicken girl, which is funny because D'Artagnan's favorite food is chicken as well. And I like that the ingredients are really simple. It's just chicken broth, chicken, lotus bean gum, potato starch and chicken fat and that's it. And then these are less healthy, but I got these just because I had seen them recommended for kittens. They're just the churu. It's kind of like a 
pasty puree, kind of the same as the other ones, but the ingredients are not as good. She likes these, but she does have a more sophisticated palette and she definitely prefers the applause ones. That's all for treats. Um, I did also get her a toothbrush because I saw a video on TikTok that if you get the toothbrush wet and kind of brush their heads with it, it will remind them of their mom grooming them. And since we got her at such a young age, I thought this would be good. For her food that she eats every day, I mix it up between the applause kitten food and the tiki cat pate. She actually prefers the tiki cat pate, but it needs to be the chicken and egg recipe in chicken broth. The applause isn't pate, it's it's just pieces of chicken and rice in chicken broth. And she loves this, but it depends on her mood. Sometimes she really wants the pate. And so sometimes I'll mix, I'll put a little bit of this one, a little bit of the pate, and then I always give her kibble on the side. But I do always make sure to provide the wet food with the kibble because I know that she doesn't like to drink water a lot. And so I know she gets most of her liquid and water intake from the food that she eats. Okay, and this is so extra. I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna be that cat mom. So this <laughs> attaches to my bike and it is a cat carrier. And it's actually like, it looks quite small, but she is so tiny. I think this will be able to fit her until she's maybe like a year. It's so cute. I got it on Amazon. It has these little flowers on it. When we first got her, her head could actually fit through these, but now that she's grown a little bit, it actually keeps her in. And then we also got this travel cat backpack for bringing her in the car, but also because we want to take her up on walks when we go up into the mountains. We always take D'Artagnan and I hate the idea of leaving her behind. I would never want to do that. I want to take her with us. So I love this. It has a cat bubble. It was a bit expensive. I think it was 89 US dollars and I got it on Amazon. It's really big for her so far, but it does have um, this thing that you can attach to her harness and her leash, or not her leash, just her harness or her collar so that we can have this open while we're walking and she can be attached so that she can't jump out, but she can still look around at the trees and the mountains when we're up hiking. And then we got her a collar. We got this from Etsy. Um, I don't remember the name of the shop, but I will leave it down in the description box. And it's so cute. It says her name on it. And it used to have a bell, but we found that when we put this on her and the bell was there, she kept just trying to like bite it off. Um, but when there's no bell, she doesn't even realize that she has a collar on. But because we do want to harness train her, especially while she's young, I did find this smaller harness on Amazon. It's so teeny tiny and this one actually fits her really well. And it comes with this leash that is like kind of stretchy. And then, oh, I forgot to mention for food, we also give her this KMR second step kitten weaning food. It's for kittens up to eight weeks. So I've been giving this to her in a little bowl at night. It looks like milk and she loves this. I feel like this is her favorite part of the day. But yeah, I think that's everything. And then as you saw, I've been getting so many cat books. Like I've been really into cozy mysteries this fall. So anytime a cat is on the cover, I've just been picking it up like this one as well you guys saw, it's so cute. <laughs> because I've never had a reason to really specifically read about you know, stories like where a cat is a, a main character before because I've never had one. But now, yeah, I'm just consuming all of the content that has anything to do with cats.
Are you she helping takes me? Everything. She takes it out. Good girl. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Just chilling. Hey, Dean. Oh, she's having a good 